Here's a nice Calc 1 derivative concept check question involving the chain rule as well as the product rule. Given f of x is twice differentiable, if f of x squared equals f of x plus x squared, determine f prime of 1 and f double prime of 1. We begin by determining the first derivative by differentiating both sides of the given equation with respect to x. Which means we'll have the derivative with respect to x of f of x squared. This will require the chain rule because the outer function is f and the inner function is x squared. Equals the derivative with respect to x of the right side, which is the derivative of f of x plus x squared with respect to x. So again, if we look at our notes just for a moment, recall the derivative of f of g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x which means the derivative of the composite function is equal to the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. This indicates the derivative of f of x squared with respect to x is equal to f prime of x squared, that is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function and then times the derivative of the inner function which is the derivative of x squared which is 2x equals on the right side the derivative of f of x plus x squared with respect to x is simply f prime of x plus 2x. Now that we have an equation that contains f prime of x, we can determine f prime of 1 by substituting 1 for x. So when x equals 1, we have f prime of 1 squared times 2 times 1 equals f prime of 1 plus 2 two times one. Going back to the left, one squared is one, and therefore we have just f prime of one times two, or two f prime of one equals, on the right side, f prime of one plus two. And now we solve for f prime of one. To do this, let's go and subtract f prime of one on both sides. Simplifying, we now have f prime of one is equal to, on the right side, two. So that's the first part of the question. We now know that f prime of one is equal to two. And now let's work on determining f double prime of one. To do this, we'll have to go back up to this equation here, f prime of x squared times two x equals f prime of x plus two x, and differentiate both sides with respect to x again in order to find f double prime of x. So we'll now differentiate both sides of Again, this equation here with respect to x, which gives us the derivative of f prime of x squared times 2x with respect to x equals the derivative of the right side, which is the derivative of f prime of x plus 2x with respect to x. To differentiate the left side, we'll have to apply the product rule as well as the chain rule. Applying the product rule, we have the first function of f prime of x squared times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of 2x, which is 2, and then plus the second function of 2x times the derivative of the first function, which requires the chain rule. The derivative of f prime of x squared with respect to x is f double prime of x squared times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, equals on the right side, the derivative of f prime of x plus 2x is f double prime of x plus 2. And now that we have an equation that contains the second derivative, we can determine f prime of 1 by substituting 1 for x. This would give us f prime of 1 squared times 2 plus 2 times 1 times f double prime of 1 squared times 2 times 1 equals f double prime of one plus two. Let's simplify the left side. One squared of course is one, so we have two f prime of one plus two times f double prime of one times two, that gives us four f double prime of one equals on the right side f double prime of one plus two. We can make one more substitution. We know from the first part that f prime of one equals two, 
So 2 times f prime of 1 is 2 times 2 over 4, giving us 4 plus 4 f double prime of 1 equals f double prime of 1 plus 2. And now to solve for f double prime of 1, let's go ahead and subtract f double prime of 1 on both sides. Let's also subtract 4 on both sides. Simplifying, we have 0 and then 4 f double prime of 1 minus f double prime of 1 gives us 3 f double prime of 1 equals on the right we have 0 and then 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Last step, divide both sides by 3. And simplifying, we have f double prime of 1 equals negative 2 thirds. I hope you found this helpful.